dish is cooked. Uh, this week's guest, of course, is Dick Pound. Wherever he's gone. Oh, here we are. Mr. Bloody ass custard creams you got there, Cavendish. Bloody good. Yes, indeed they are. Oh, sweet relief, sweet relief. Oh, uh, okay. Where are we? Uh, I believe we were talking about your third wife. Uh, Miss Linda Lusani. Oh, Linda, Linda, Linda. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Linda. Yes. Oh. Uh, uh, if I have to go again. <laughs> if I may interrupt, uh, how how did you actually meet Miss Lusani? Um, basically, I read in Sun one day, I picked it up, opened it, page three, I thought, oh, look at them. I've got to have a go on them. Oh. So I phoned her agent. Got a number, sent her some flowers, and, and then, uh, um, you know, I followed her around for a bit. I want stalking, mind. No, no, but followed her around, got a number, got a date, went on from there, and I did have a bloody good go on him. I bloody did. So, of course, you decided to retire at the end of 1986. Uh, why, why at that particular time? Well, Cavendish, Cavo, if I can call you that. No, you may not. Okay, Cavendish. Um, um, I was at the top of my game. I was scoring lots of runs. The fans loved me. So I decided I'm going to go out, top of my game, let her remember a good dick. Nobody likes a bad dick. Nobody wants to grow old and get crap and get dropped. I needed them a lot less than they needed me. So I went out of the top. So, after a few months off, you took the top job, some may say, at Calendar News. Ah, six o'clock news. Ah, co-host on six o'clock news. When I, when I perky breasted bird, forget her name though, I do though, I do. Of course I bloody did. I'm Dick Pond. I'm Dick Pond! Yes, you are. Anyway, during your time on Calendar, you and Linda split. What, what? What happened? Everything seemed to be going so well. Well, it's it's a sad tale, I'm afraid, Cavendish. Um, I'd been drinking a lot, you know, lots of pressure, a lot of deadlines to meet, um, and basically... Uh, uh, the reports say sexual escapades. The, the reports are right, are very right. Um, I couldn't keep it in my pants. Bird would smile at me and I'd pretty much want to, you know, have a go on her. And, and one of these women you had a go on was ultimately your fourth wife, Tracy Rivers. Ah, biggest mistake of my bloody life, that cow. Uh, didn't you have a shotgun wedding? Shotgun? What the hell, nuclear missile? No, we went up to Scotland. Don't know why, because we we're over, we we're over 18. We went to Scotland, Gretna Green, um, and, uh, ah, we got married pretty quick. Problem is, though, my divorce wasn't final, so for, for at least two weeks, I was a bigamist. I was a bigamist. I say I was a bigamist, and I'm sorry. Right, calm down, Dick, calm down, calm down. Uh, on the subject of your temper, in 1992, you were ultimately fired from calendar news. Sacked. Sacked. Fired. They're the same thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. So, anyway. Tell us about that. Well, um, Harry Gration had said that Yorkshire pudding spoilt a Sunday dinner. And, uh, oh, I saw red. Yorkshire pud. Yorkshire pud. Can't be have a Sunday dinner without Yorkshire pud and some nice gravy. Ah, misto. So what exactly happened, Dick? Um, well, basically it ran across the studio, jumped over at desk, and I headbutted him. And that was well, that. I was sacked as quick as a quick thing on a quick thing. Yeah. Let's move on to what is considered your darkest hour. You've been fired from Calendar. Mm -hmm. What what happened next? Well, um, you know, I was on a question of sport uh, with um, Bill Marmont. And uh, Ian Botham was on there as well, obviously. And um, you know, we had a we had a set to. I would describe it as a set to, but it pretty much ended up with me being removed from the building, and Ian spending a night in casualty. It it was of course around this time that you you came came 
succumbed, 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 succumbed to those sweet little delights of Mars bars. Aye, Mars bars. Oh, Mars bars. Uh, My greatest oh. addiction, the balls that I could give up when I wanted. The fags, easy. The, even, even the pot, give it up. Mars bars, I couldn't shake them. Yes, and, and this led to the downward spiral, and eventually, Tracy, your beloved fourth wife... No, bloody no. Uh, well, she, she cheated on you with, with Shadow from the Gladiators. I offered her something I couldn't, yes. and I'm not going to explain what it is. You could probably guess. But, but before, before she ultimately left you, you, you had your second child, who, who turned out to be black, is that correct? Ah, uh, it's so much to do with pigments, I think. Pigments. Although I have my doubts, yeah. but I never did a DNA test. But I love him, even if he want me on. I love him like me on. He's bloody brilliant. And then, of course, in 1993, mm. you were arrested mm. for for paying for the privilege of having mm. sex, and what is commonly known as uh, what 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 do the young people call it? Dogging. Yes, dogging. Dogging. Uh, I believe, with a G or without, spell it however you like. I believe, much to Dick's embarrassment, that we, we, <laughs> we have... <laughs> well, we, we actually have the film footage of that arrest. Well, I'm, I'm giving it the lad, but I didn't know it was a lad. I was rather pissed, and, and it had long hair, kind of like you, Cavendish, and had a nice pert bum. So I'm getting it to in call. I thought it was a turn out bloke. I had cock and everything. Uh, but yeah, you know, I got arrested, I'm a little bit ashamed, but uh, not wrongly a bit of bum fun now and again. Just not in public, I suppose, the law sees it. And then, if mm. things couldn't get any worse, you took a cameo on the ITV sitcom Faith in the Future. Ah, oh, we, we had a lot of fun. We had a, in fact, I was quite happy, you know, being on set, having a laugh with Linda Bellingham, an old dear friend of mine. An ex-flame, but you know, we didn't, we let bygone be bygone, you know, she's an ex-flame, but we were good friends, and she's still a good friend, and that's why I've been on Loose Women three times. And, and of course, during this period, you suffered your heart attack on ah, the set. My dicky dicker, yeah. dicky dicky dicker. Yeah. Basically, yeah, I was eating a lot of my bars, as I said, I put on a bit of weight. Weren't playing, you know, weren't keeping myself in shit, and um, just went for a... Went for a shit one day. That's it. I felt my chest like someone had put a big clump around it. And I eat in my mouth, but I know you shouldn't eat on the toilet. But I often do. I like to have a good think and a mouth bar and a shit. And oh, oh, I had to scream. I was screaming, but nothing was coming out. It weren't coming out. I was screaming, help, <sighs> but no, no came out. But then eventually, somebody, somebody special, found me. Of course, your again future wife. Ah, another one. Uh, Jane What's her face. Jane What's her face. Now she was working as a runner, basically. She was kind of like Linda's personal assistant, but um, yeah, but uh, she found me up the toilet. Well, off the toilet, so to speak, and um, yeah, she screamed. She said, "Guess, guess somebody, somebody ring ambulance." And then um, you know, Linda was the old dick girl. Is that will be up and you know. Saved my life, they would have left me in there. Nobody found me. But she did walk in on me having a shit. Which I always found strange to this very day. But she saved my bloody life, and in turn, she got a good dick pounding on a regular basis for quite a number of years. <laughs>